Let's go meet. I cannot wait for this light heavyweight throwdown when we got Volkan Uzdemir, aka No Time, taking on Paul Craig. And Brad Pitt could tell you better. I know him better by his nickname, the Bear Jew. I'm just curious, like, when is the Bear Jew going to like get the respect that he deserves? I mean, this dude is essentially on a six-fight win streak, five wins, one draw. The one draw was a road appearance in Brazil against Shogun, and most objective viewers uh, thought that Paul Craig won that fight too. And his last loss is way back in 2019. He got finished by Menafield, but if we look at the finishes that Paul Craig has been getting, like, it's against serious UFC fighters. I mean, Nikita Krylov, he finished with a triangle choke. Jamal Hill, we were there. He finished with elbows and punches on the ground, and that was essentially threatened and set up by his lethal guard that he is finishing every single opponent in. And again, same thing to Shogun Hua, where he demonstrated more of his boxing and his stand-up game in that one. He landed a lot of nice strike, a lot of nice strikes on Shogun, but of course is always able to mix it up. And then he got that finish over Godzimura and Antigua before that with that gnarly triangle choke. So we know he's got the most in UFC history, triangle chokes that is. And he's also, we mention every time, the only dude who has ever beat Magomed Ankalaev. And Ankalaev is 17 and one and was wi was winning 14 minutes and 59 seconds of that fight before he got submitted by Paul Craig. So we know Paul Craig is dangerous in the first minute. He's clearly dangerous in the last. And I'm curious to see how he does against Volkan, who has had a very interesting UFC career, right? Because he does have crazy lunchbox lunchbox power. He's able to finish guys, but like we look at his resume and he won three straight, and then he lost three straight. Then he won two straight again, and then he lost two straight again. So it's like, where are we seemingly with Volcan? And is he going to be able to sort of uh, start a new winning streak in this one against uh, the Bear Jew? What are your thoughts on this one? Are you taking Bear Jew or uh, is he out of time and no time and gets this one done? Who you got? Yeah, you know, I got to take the Bear Jew. I, I think he's going to get dropped, beat up, and then get the easy sub. Plus money, love to see it. I uh, love racking and money once again. Uh, Bear Jew's coming through for the boys, that's for sure. Yeah, it, it's pretty funny, right? It's typical Bear Jew odds, plus 130. He's always floating around in that plus 130 to plus 180 range. And... Uh, is always a dog, yet is always winning fights. However, typology, 76%, nearly three out of every four uh, is taking the Bear Jew. So it looks like the uh, hardcores are a little bit more all over Bear Jew than the odds makers are. And of that 76%, most is copper. They think that that triangle choke submission or some sort of trickery down there is most likely. 24% is rolling with Uzdemir and majority of it is brown. And to me, that makes sense because Uzdemir does have lethal power. Like he has some nice finishes over like Ilir Latifi, uh, Misha Serkinov, and then he's absolutely flatlined Jimmy Manoa. So is it at all possible that Uzdemir is going to have the requisite power to shut the lights off of the Bear Jew? Or do you just really anticipate, like we often see, Bear Jew probably eating a shot, maybe two, maybe three, but surviving and then ultimately getting a submission? Is that what you think goes down? Yeah, I think that's what's going to go down. Uh, eats a bunch of shots and then gets the easy sub in the later rounds, or maybe even early. We'll have to see. But uh, I, I think that's just really how it's going to go. Um, Volcan's a legend. He's an OG. Um, you know, everything says he should win, and that's a bigger reason why he's not going to. Yeah, with you all the way, I just, I, until Paul Craig loses and he hasn't in some time, it's going to be tough for me to pick against him. And especially when we're consistently getting plus money for that. Like, where else are you seeing a guy on a six fight win streak consistently be an underdog in their fights? Like, it's, it's truly mind blowing. And while Uzmir is a step up, right? I mean, Paul Craig keeps inching his way closer to the top again. Uh, I think he's going to have enough to get, get it done over Uzmir. So I'm going with second, maybe third round finish, likely triangle choke as he always does. So, any last thoughts on this one, mate? Nope. It's, uh, it's going to be a great fight. And uh, throw in the comments who you got, Bear Jew or No Time.